Hey everybody, welcome to another Goody Reader review video. My name is Michael. This is Peter. Today we are going to show you the new Sony PRST3 case with built-in light. This is about a $50, $60 accessory. It's different from the stock case that comes with the Sony e-reader because it has a reading light. It's a little bit thicker because of the, the light and electronics built inside. One thing that you guys should know before we kind of go through for this review video that the Sony PRST3 is designed to have a case on it at all times. If you don't have a case on it, you have these back electronics that if you put on a wet surface, it could pretty well spell doom for your e-reader. Absolutely, and we're going to take you through a full walkthrough of everything here. So this is what the reader looks like by default. It has a leather outside suede insert for the case. Here's the reader itself. And it is flush with the back, like so, because this is a built-in case and the backing is all one piece. We're going to take this off. We've left it a little bit off here so to cut down on time. It connects with many different little tabs here, so make sure you're very careful not to break any of them. Replacement cases can be expensive. You see that the back is built into the case itself. Here is the reader exposed. And um, this is what Michael was referring to because it's all kind of... There's like terminals exposed and holes down to the circuit board. Uh, kind of a weird design. You're, you're meant to also take the back off because it gains access to the micro SD card slot. Uh, very weird design. Yeah, but I mean, from experience on using this during the past week, it gets really uncomfortable if you want to use the reader without the case mm -hmm. because you have these little things like jabbing at you mm -hmm. all the time and for me i'm not a huge fan of cases myself i, I kind of like the e-readers and i like the slim profiles I like being able to just put it in my back pocket right this i kind of felt like it added a little bit more like girth so it right. was harder to fit in my back pocket and i don't know it's a little bit inconvenient too because if you want to use it with the case you have this case that's always kind of moving around because it's very thin connector here and uh, you always have to kind of hide it or tuck it away and you end up it's just it's not very pleasant to hold so yeah. when you take the case off oh look problem solved well not really because now everything's exposed these two terminals here are positive and negative to power the case like so where these little pins are so make sure nothing kind of gets in the way of that installation is very simple of this case you just snap it on like so yeah, you just press firmly down. There's really no technical science. No. Anybody could pretty well do this. Once again, make sure it's in line because if you push down when you're not when it's not lined up, you might snap the tabs. Now your device is heavier significantly and thicker. You can see here it's bulged open because of the integrated light. The outside of the case remains the same. Leather on the outside. Suede insert on the inside with Sony embossed logo. But now, we're going to open up a book, and what we get is a light. How you reveal this is you slide it out. This is a flex cable, so you don't want to bend that because it's meant to flex to the optimal uh, distance to shoot the light down. It's, uh, the lights are pointed at an angle, there's two LEDs in there, and when you unsleep the device like so, the light starts shining. Now, we've tested this in a dark room, and we're going to do that um, right after we optimize the camera for this because the light is actually pretty dim, and it's, it doesn't really cover the whole screen. So we're going to do a nighttime test right now. So we have the light on. There aren't really any controls for the intensity of the light. If you put it away, you see that you can't really see anything. We have a little bit of ambient light, and uh, the reason why is because when you turn the light on, you still can't really see anything. Um, you get super harsh intensity up here, but as you come all the way down here, it's really not that great. It's a little bit more readable by the naked eye, but honestly, it's not... It's not it's not doing a good enough job. Yeah, and this you it's not malleable. No. So you can't not. like okay, I find that like this is the most ideal, yeah. but it just flips back. It's a good idea. I would have liked to see some sort of flexible wire build inside this rather than yeah. this, this or it come out even more yeah. so you could have it like up and like face down. Yeah, this is sort of like 
the top half is illuminated but I mean the video speaks for itself right. where about up to here is good anything kind of down here it starts getting a little bit darker that's not very good now let's see what happens when we compare this to a conventional glow light front technology e-reader. So Sony has been very resistive to adopting uh, the Kindle Paperwhite technology and front-lit displays and e-readers from Kobo, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Bookeen, a ton of other companies, uh, Pocketbook, have all developed front-lit e-readers. Right. And they do it because the light is evenly distributed. Absolutely across the screen so you don't run into sort of this old tech which is the reading lights where you can see it's shadow there's a lot of shadows mm -hmm. it's a little darker this is like it's perfect yeah look at this any way you hold this look at the viewing angle on this as well it's perfectly distributed edge to edge top to bottom and then you get the t3 with lighted case look at that harsh glare absolutely uneven distribution of the light not enough light power here from these two little tiny LEDs to get the whole screen illuminated it's not it's not making up for what the T3 lacks yeah like technology I, I agree so I would probably say to skip this case for the Sony if you know if you're if you have an e-reader and you're thinking about buying one I just find for like fifty sixty dollars it's not the greatest investment For sixty bucks we hoped it would look something like this but yeah no I mean you already get a case they make you buy another case and it's just it's not doing a great job yeah it really so it, it does this case doesn't really get our seal of approval and I mean you guys could judge for yourselves please comment on this video and let us know what you think and uh, you can check out our YouTube channel YouTube.com com slash goodie reader if you're watching this video on another website and for a review of the sony prs t3 case with built-in reading light for goodyreader.com my name is michael this is peter everybody take care